I'm going to show you here how to use log C intended LUTs with virtually any camera, any color space. So in Resolve, if you take your media here, and if you go to the color tab and go to the OFX or Open Effects plugins, Resolve conveniently comes with this thing called Color Space Transform. So you can drag an OFX plugin onto a node here and the effect will take place. But by default, it's not doing anything. It's taking the color space and gamma of your timeline and turning it into the color space and gamma of your timeline, which logically will do nothing. So in the case of log C LUTs, like for instance, we're going to use our Vaporwave Series 1 LUT pack here, which is all intended for log C, which normally is the material that comes off the Arri Alexa and similar cameras. So here would be how we would use that on material that did not come from an Arri camera. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the output as what I want. I, I want to change this to be the color space of the Arri Alexa, and I want to make the gamma to Arri Log C. And that would be as if it would come off the Arri Alexa. For the input, in this case, I'm just going to select Rec. 709 because this didn't actually come from a camera. These are just SMPTE color bars generated here in Resolve. So I'm going to do Rec. 709, and I'm going to do Rec. 709. And so right now we have a conversion from Rec. 709 into Arri Alexa Log C. So if we were to make a new node here, and if we were to right click, go to LUTs, 3D LUTs, we have our LUT factory LUTs, and let's just pick a random one here. So you can see this would be the look if this material were shot in log C. We've converted it into log C on the first node. Second node, we've applied the LUT, and it works just like it would if it were from an Arri Alexa. So you could do the same type of thing with material that was shot in S log 2, S log 3, um, material that you got from the web, in which case you would just do Rec. 709 or sRGB, depending on what the source is. Um, really, you can select from almost any source to almost any destination. They've got um, dragon color, they've got red color, all kinds of stuff um, here. So it's a very handy tool, and it makes it so some of your LUT packs that are intended for color spaces other than what you may have shot actually work pretty well. So that's how you convert color space here in DaVinci Resolve.